Hello and welcome to Access 2013 Tutorials. In this video I'm going to be talking you through tabs in Forms. So if you want to play along follow the link below the video to the download section of the website and download Access 2013 DB38. Here it is. I don't know why I did that. Okay so in a previous lesson we made a data entry form for rooms which was here um, so you can click on one of the room IDs and it brings it up so this is data entry form that's fine what I want to do today is make a data entry form for guests um, but because with guests there's quite a bit of information I want to use tabs to display the information so let's close everything up so let's create a blank form first of all. So we go to create on the ribbon, click on blank form, press F4 so we get the property sheet and let us get rid of no record selectors. Um, well, I'll leave the navigation buttons on. I don't know why. Have we got it on rooms? I don't remember. Yeah, we left them on room, so we'll leave it on there as well. Okay, let's save that and call it Form Guests Data Entry. Uh, and on Form Format, we want at the top, just make the caption Guests. Okay, so we've got our basic form. Go to Data and the record source, choose. Um, table guests it's here and I can't see it, why can't I see it, there it is, okay choose table guests uh, so now we've actually added a record source to it so we need to actually drag the fields on before we do that go up to design on the tab and then click on this control here which is the tab control so what a tab control does is it enables you to place controls on different tabs so that uh, to help you with the layout for example um, or to group the controls uh, logically so you might have the address in one place the contact details like email uh, telephone in another place so and it makes the forms look quite nice and a bit more professional um, the only other thing worth mentioning about tabs is that although they're tabs you can't see them all the controls do load up with the form um, there you go a bit of random information that may or may not ever be useful okay so let's have a look at uh, go to design tab go to add existing fields so what we're going to want on what tabs well we've got guest ID title first name last name date of birth so we could have one tab um, for the guest I don't know what we'll call that worry about that in a second then we could have another tab for the address and um, contact details and then we can have uh, a last tab for the notes so we're going to have three tabs um, so let's name them first of all so press F4 and just to let you know if you want to access the tab control click here and that accesses the tab control which is called tab control zero if you want to access a page just click on the actual tab of that particular page so we're interested in page one so go to other and let's name it and let's call it um, what should we call it I don't know name Go to page two and call it well, contact details on Word. But go to format and caption contact details two words name name I don't like name and then right click and insert page and call this one um, notes I don't like name we're going to change name. Let's just call this one details. So right, we've got details, contact details, and notes. So save that. So click on details, go to add existing fields, click and drag guest ID, and then click and drag title, first name and last name, and date of birth. Okay, and just center that. If you want to center that, there's a little cross in the top left hand corner where you can center everything and just make it look a bit nicer by for example making sure that first name and last name have a space between them okay. 
Um, although stored as ID, I, it's generally better to change. Uh, sorry, stored as guest ID, it's generally better to change the label to ID. All right, go to contact details, and now we're going to drag on address one, address two, three, postal zip code, mobile, and email. Try that again, email. Just widen out that so we get all the information. Okay, uh, let's just center that one. Okay, and last but not least, go to notes and just drag on notes. Um, probably can get rid of the label actually. Make that pretty much the width of the tab. Okay, so that's fine. Now the buttons, if we open up form rooms data entry, go to design view. And just I'm pressing the control button. I've clicked on all the buttons. Press Control C. Go back to guests. Drop that into the design view. And you just want to drop these buttons. I press Control V, and they always go to the top. But you just want to drop them underneath the tab, so that whichever tab you're on, you'll actually see the buttons. And does that work? I don't think so. Go to layout view. F4, click on the save button, let's just see what event they've got there. So close window. Let's just change that to form guests data entry. Yes, thank you. And let's just have a look at this one. And this one. So open close, press close 100 times. Okay, now if you go to form view, that will save and close, so that's good. Okay, um, so yeah, you've got the details here of each individual. Well, not each individual, you've got one guest, but you've got the information for each guest logically laid out now, so it's a bit nicer. And let's go to DS, 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 form bookings extended DS, where we have a guest here. And um, we're going to change this um, so that we can click on a guest and it'll bring up the relevant uh, data, or bring up the guest data entry form filtered to that guest. So go to on click event, macro builder, and if, if, yeah, not is no guest ID FK then open form form name um, form guests data entry we want to make sure we open it dialog put edit here if you want doesn't make much difference put equals this is the where condition so this is us telling um, access which record we want guest ID equals ampersand guest ID FK. So just uh, pause the video and take a look at this where condition so you can see what's what. Close that bad boy up and um, one last thing go to format and just like we did in the previous video with hyperlinks I'm in the guest column display as hyperlink always so we've turned that into a hyperlink. Now save uh, data sheet view even though we're in data sheet view so I don't know why I clicked that and click on a guest and nothing happens because I made the same mistake as I did yesterday you wouldn't think that was possible but there you go go back to event it's not a click event because it's a combo box one of these days okay so get rid of that so what I've done is I've <laughs> I'm going a bit fast here I've what I did there was I clicked in here I pressed control a and control x so I've taken that macro and I've copied it to the clipboard and I'm going to on mouse down and macro builder and control V and I'm dropping it in mouse down now okay so now we go back to any guest Hannah Travis and there she is and James Merton there he is one day I promise I will remember that combo boxes require a mouse down and not a click event but until that day you'd have to get used to me doing things like that um, okie dokie right uh, that is tabs um, so thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video.
uh, where we will be discussing something related to queries. I don't exactly remember what. Okay, thank you for watching. See you then.